What's going on guys? Carlos here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Happy Sunday, by the way, and happy Memorial Day weekend. Uh, so, uh, we had a little accident on my extractor. Um, so today's video, hopefully, if you have the Mighty uh, 1001, the extractor that I have, um, if you've ever had this issue or if you ever encountered this issue, hopefully this video kind of helps you on a do-it-yourself uh, type of project so uh, stay tuned and I'll bring you guys around to see the extractor all right guys so pretty much um, I've already gone ahead and taken out the heating pump uh, obviously it cuts I guess I was washing a vehicle and somehow it uh, the water got in here obviously there's vents on the side obviously it's just to keep everything in obviously the interior components cool uh, but somehow some water got in here, I guess, when I was power washing a vehicle off. And it kind of caught a short, which caused a little bit of, uh, maybe like a small little fire, maybe. And it caught, it kind of burned a little bit of the plastic on that side. But, very minor issue. Um, to remove this, this is where it gets very tricky um, at times. Uh, so just have patience on removing this. What I ended up doing was uh, taking off these lines over here just so it can make it easier for me. So at this point, I'm gonna show you guys how you put this back. Um, so this is the old one, all right? So what you're gonna be doing, you're gonna be needing some zip ties uh, for the bottom part to stabilize it. And obviously we're gonna put these pieces back together. So stay with me guys. And let's hope I do this correctly. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna connect the ground first because that's where it kind of gets a little bit difficult. So hopefully you guys can see. I already had the screws down here. All right. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift this a little bit and. gonna take off it comes with ground already but since this is connectors it's already connected here so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take off this two grounds off that could be and it comes with screws already so So if you're planning on getting an extractor with a heating element, just be ready that there are some expenses. This motor cost me $250, but it put in work though, so I'm not going to complain on that part. It has put in work. So let's just make sure you got everything. Everything is clear. Let me get this little screw out. All right. So I remove the ground, which go right in the middle. And we're just gonna put the the present ground that's on here. And in case you've never done this, I recommend you take pictures of this so that uh, you don't run into major any major issues. So this one is gonna go right over here. And this one's gonna go right over here. Perfect.
and probably I guess if you have the magnetic thing would work probably much better. So you're gonna put the ground one on the top and then you're gonna put the other ground in the bottom one. And let's put the other one in. Again, if you've never done this, it could be a cool little learning experience. It kind of saves you some money on the putting all this back together. It's tight. Right. Ground is in. All right. Those two are connected. And then we have these bottom ones over here. So. This red one's gonna go on the top one. white one goes the bottom one and then you have two more same thing you have the red one goes on the black one okay and we should have one more white one and that one will go all the way at the bottom one you are set all right so those two wires are done after that usually I zip tie it to the end just to make sure that everything is perfectly put all right so this line is gonna be connected to this one right here so this one right here all right so that's what we're gonna be putting on right now with this this one right here. It's gonna be connected on there. So all you gotta do is just screw it on. All right, let me just tighten it real quick. Snug, tight fit. Not too tight, just enough. Oh, we got to tight. Sorry. This, this piece, just fold it. It's going to go right on this one. All right. Perfect. And then this white white tip is going to go on this side. Um, obviously the zip ties, this is where probably we would uh, zip tie them so we know you're able to put it in. But for video purposes, I'm just going to show you real quick how you're going to install it. And then we'll end the video. Then this part goes 
I believe it goes like this. Let me see. Like this. So this one you tighten it up, hopefully it's in view. Which is yeah. So this part is gonna go connected to your the one that looks like an S kind of. It's gonna go to your water pump. And then the other end. There you go. And then obviously this other end. It's gonna go into this one right here. And that's pretty much how it goes. But I think it goes. Yeah, so this is how I feel like it goes like that. All right. So pretty much, this is how you guys would finish the um, installation of the um, there you go. So that's how you install it. Right here, I'm just gonna put the zip tights to make it tight. These lines are connected. I'm just gonna finish connecting this one here. And then I'm just gonna finish connecting these two and we are set, all right? So hopefully this video kind of showed you guys um, how to install your heating pump if you ever have the issue that it uh, went out, all right? So you guys have a blessed day, happy Sunday, and thank you so much for watching.